Good morning. So I was flicking through my Facebook feed last night and I saw this piece of artwork, this skull. Um, as you can see, it looks great. I don't like the butterfly or the snake, but I, I like the skull image there. And I like the way it's placed with its mouth open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, inspired by this painting, maybe paint something skull-like. Obviously it won't be copying it to that standard um, but I want to capture an idea and just I don't know paint something that I was inspired by the artist names James Kerr so yeah you can check him out I've put the post on my fe Facebook feed so yeah but I do like the skull I think that's awesome but I'm gonna be using acrylics so I'm going to have a go and see what I can do. So, let's begin. So, I've just got some burnt sienna brown, which I'm going to use as like the sketching sort of medium. I um, just want to try and get that image up. I can just try and paint something that looks like a skull. Yeah, so as I said, I want the skull image just in the corner like this to start with uh, the eyes. Make it a bit more watery. I was thinking, I mean, that one, that, that image looks like it's, um, it looks like it's underwater, but I don't think it is. I don't know. <laughs> I want to do something else. Um, try and I don't know. We'll see what I can do. Because my painting skills are quite limited at the moment. But I can still try and have a go at creating an idea. Not the camera again. Nice one. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the initial paint sketch of the skull. I think at the side there's going to be other maybe rocks or something. I'll sketch them in with their uh, brown first and then overlay some kind of stuff over it, like a glaze. Well, I think to save time I'll just go and borrow my daughter's uh, hair dryer and I can just save on the drying time and I can just quickly get on with this. behind it as well so my drawing board doesn't get absolutely messed up. A bit of darkness in there. Now oh, there's a little line there. I'll try and explain that as I go along. Um, but it's just an idea I've had. Uh, maybe this is like um, a dead astronaut and this is going to be like uh, the the remaining bit of Pfizer. It's all cracked and then that's why like the person's died. And then hopefully I want to do a bit more of a planet or something in the background. I don't know. We'll see what's what. Maybe do some crazy mountains, I don't know, or formations, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what's what. So yeah, we got this 
There to be like lots of dark maybe at the bottom of here. I'm going to put some solid brown colour. So I bought myself a DVD the other day, I haven't watched it yet, um, Crimson Peak, there looks like a nice horror film, Guillermo del, del Toro, <laughs> one of his films, so I'm going to enjoy watching that I think, but I'll probably watch it at the weekend, I haven't bought any uh, DVDs for a while, I haven't really had the money, um, and this one was only cheap anyway, so I thought I'd buy it. So, yeah, I'll be watching that, and if I get inspired by it, I might paint something from it, or draw something from it, you never know. You never know what can happen. So, yeah, this um, painting, I don't really know what to uh, do for the sky, it might, it might just be totally black with stars in it. We'll see. Maybe there's a some kind of planet up there. Or a few planets with moons. Never know. We'll just see what's what. <laughs> but yeah. I think this is a good idea. I'll give this its first glaze once I've totally dried this. So that's like part of the astronaut's helmet. And I think last last of all I'll do like the the thin layer of uh, cracked glass, I think, but that'll be the last. But I've just done that line there just to remind me um, that there's like a helmet there. And Bit of bit more form on this skull. Painting quite, you know, sketchily is good, you know, and then you can try and focus on things a bit later on. So once I get into the swing of this painting, I'll probably switch to a time lapse, and then you'll just see um, some details happening, forming. Hopefully, um, I'm pretty enthusiastic about these paintings, even though I'm sort of learning on the way and picking up ideas from other artists. And yeah, I think I need to watch a few more YouTube videos about painting, but. I'll get the hang of it and it's fun to paint as well so but yeah it's a little break from drawing it's always needed sometimes so before I uh, do a glaze or two I'm gonna get some black and I think he's gonna have like a black sort of um, costume shoulder there that we'll see and it's all going to be I don't know is it all going to be burnt and a bit smoky like some kind of atmosphere has killed him or something I don't know just trying to run with some ideas here <laughs> So, I just want a bit of a, like a black look to the costume. 
like a big space suit but you won't see that it's just the corner bit there maybe corner bit there because the rest is just like a helmet of some sort which has all been shattered and of course I can use a bit of the black watered down just on the eyes and the nose slightly Let's try and spread it out as best I can don't have to be neat at this point because I'm only like still paint sketching and I can overlay layers of paint anywhere here and there then maybe this smoke or just ash I don't know maybe all these insides have been burnt out I don't know just make it up so I think We'll go for maybe like pitch black. Oh, pardon me, burping. Yeah. Windy pops. And I'm thinking that the like the land or the planet that is on is going to have like a purple hue to it, so it should look quite good. Hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, what are this black down? I don't want it to drip. Oh, bloody hand click then. <laughs> Hit when you do that. Move your hand, it clicks. Bloody hell. Alright. So yeah, look, maybe the, the sort of like paint, um, the black paint probably won't end up staying black, totally black space, but I may do like um, other swirly bits and stuff, like galaxy things, just to show you that it's uh, like another planet. Um, well, you know, it's on a planet and there's lots of space and there's a few more planets there and it's like a very spacey looking painting something that I don't do much of always drawing horror stuff even though this is like a horror <laughs> sort of thing still don't have to be too neat really with this just draw with a paintbrush them smaller ones could be the moons or something I don't know Oh, they could all be moons to this planet. I don't know. <laughs> so I've got a, a rough black space done there. Um, I'm a bit more watery looking black. Just to try and work on some little details that need fleshing out a bit later on. Let's get these eyes, eye sockets. And there's possibly some ash and stuff and you know just flying off. Dunno, we'll work on that later. So I'm thinking of adding um, like a red glaze over the full lot. I'm just going to wait till this dries. Well, I'm going to go and get the hair dry. And dry my hair. <laughs> so I've just given the entire canvas a coat of uh, crimson red. Uh, it's really watered down so it looks like it's, um, well, it's still like the red colour. Um, just a, a few little marks there. I think that's when these are getting processed. Um, there's just a few little uh, scratches on there um, but I can just probably paint over them as you know that I had 
sort of like the layers. I think it's when I add like a watery layer there to just show up. It's nothing minor, just, you know, nothing big, I mean, nothing minor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to like uh, dry this and then I'm going to go in and add some maybe um, highlights just to always keep that in mind, that curve there of the helmet. And yeah, but I like these glazing techniques. I never would have thought of doing glazing techniques, you know, to as like layers to a painting. So pretty cool. Anyway, like when I do, like I may do bits off camera, um, but if I ever do, I'll try and explain what I've done and things like that and just come back to it. Because this is like a vlog thing. I don't really, you know, th there's some like drawings that I probably do. I'll probably miss little bits of inking out here and there just to save some time. So if there's ever, you know, I come back and there's bits added, I'll try and explain what I've done off camera as well. Uh, but I'll do some bits on camera as well, so because I want to try and keep it like sort of like vloggy, you know, where I do bits and pieces, and then just come back to it, just just to keep it, you know, more energy in it, you know, <laughs> or whatever bullshit I can come up with. <laughs> so I've just done a real uh, thick uh, layer of uh, red crimson over that black. Um, maybe like the atmosphere is um, really dense like I don't know like on Mars or something so but then I could bring some of them planets back give some light around them and things like that and just see what else I can do with it really um, so I've just darkened um, well added more brown to the eyes now I'm going to use a bit more black later on and I've just darkened a bit more here with a bit more brown because I want these to be like purple rocks eventually when I get that colour in there. Um, should be okay. Um, I just realised if that visor ends there then this will all be darkness. So I need to add more black there but I'll just, just put some brown there because the top of the skull's there. And then this uh, cracked visor or helmet thing, it cracks all the way, probably like halfway around the face or something. But I'll be put, I'll be doing that last because that's I'll need some white for that. I think it's best if I try and just I've got the expression right on the skull anyway, which is exactly what I wanted, and I think it's a good idea if I do do the ash. Um, like all the insides of the astronaut or whoever it was is just slowly fading away um, pretty much on this skull drawing that I did um, that was a little accident that I spilt some uh, grey paint on there or something and then I just dabbed it all in and then it looks like you know it's I don't know it's like it's all burning off like I don't know, it's a pretty cool effect. So maybe I'll try and incorporate that into here if I can. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's dry slightly, a bit more water. So yeah, just thin a bit of that black off there. As you notice there, the teeth will be here and the bottom teeth will be there as well. So I've got to allow some space for that. Um, yeah. Just get a bit more water there. Just want that visor just to have another thin line there. Just to help me, help guide me along sort of thing. Um, so I'm going for the, this black it's a black astronaut costume. I'm not going for the white so uh, I don't want it to be like uh, like a normal everyday Earth type astronaut costume. There's only like a, a suggestion of it anyway, but it's like black. It could be like black leather, thick leather type stuff. I don't know. Certainly like 
could be like an alien type soap, possibly. No, no. Just making it up as I go along, so. <laughs> Still got them little scratch lines appearing there. I think that's when. I think when they get processed or something, they get um, put on a conveyor belt probably, and then it's just like scratched with something. Because um, they, they, I think they get primed these quickly, cheaply, you know, because they're only pound shop canvases. But I still can like paint over that. Just needs thicker paint. So I need to, I think the light sources are going to come from these, I don't know if they're going to be planets or moons, and there's possibly going to be something way off here as well, which will reflect off this visor, um, I keep calling it a visor, it's like a glass helmet thing, which will be there, yeah, so anyway. I'm going to get on with a little bit off camera and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. I'm um, possibly going to add some highlights just to see uh, where things are going to rest and just have a mess around with it. Right now I've just uh, added some white highlights uh, just pretty much everywhere and smoothed uh, a lot of this wet paint out a little bit more and just done a white highlight there just to always keep that bit of glass in my mind, uh, not to paint over it, uh, well I can paint over it but as long as I keep that in mind. Um, I paint some white there which I've smoothed out turn to grey and some more black just to darken it. I'm going to try and give like a little collar um, around there which sort of like will fast, well would have fastened the uh, glass helmet to the suit. Um, possibly I'm thinking of um, some like charred earth there, charred rocks and the rest is going to be like a purpley sort of thing but I'm using these as the base colours for now I'm just darkening the eyes a bit more with some black just add some watery bits just around the edges because I'm going to add some white just uh, wash most of that off the brush because I want to try and uh, Sort of just experiment. It's a bit watery. Try and think of some like ashy bits just flowing off in the breeze. Try and wet that out on the page. Well, on the canvas. <laughs> on the page. And some areas that I've bit sharp I can just blend them back in and then add some black in there float off with the white that I've added which looks grey now which is just exactly what I wanted there's a bit of white on there trying to yeah, go we go just try and uh, work it all in there And there's possibly some bits coming off from the nose area. It's obvious like some has gone off um, here. Um, not just like a, a stranded astronaut or something like that. Um, something's happened but it's nice to add a little bit of story in it. You can just make up whatever you want. <laughs> You know, anything could have happened to this poor astronaut. Yeah, quite like that. So, let's smooth that out a bit. There we go. And then there's some ashes here and stuff, and stuff's floating off. More highlights. Um, try and mark in the the teeth. I'll use this grey. I can always go over it. It'll be due another glaze anyway. This so. Mm. 
and just try and work out the bottom teeth. So just working it all out. We put some grey over the top there. So I've established that this skull should look like a bit charred, um, ash and stuff. Just falling away from its face yeah pretty cool it's quite amazing because if I, I hadn't seen that um, piece of artwork by the other artist I probably wouldn't be inspired just to create something like this so it's that can happen and it's it's good that that happens as well you know um, Get some more brown in there. I think I'm gonna dry this now and come back. Maybe add like um, a thin yellow glaze over the top. That might warm it up a bit. So I've just added like a purpley like glaze over there. Um, I mean like the land bit. I've left all this sad because I want this to be slightly lighter and with a bit more detail on it um, just adding in some bit I'm not happy with these teeth at the moment so I'm gonna go over them yeah, with a brown and just uh, thicken them out slightly I've been painting the, the roots of the teeth with a bit of black um, just to hopefully make these stand out a bit more. Oh, a bit of a bit too much paint on there. So go over these teeth. camera <laughs> so I can see the teeth there now um, and I can add like a, a little bit of white to the top just highlight them a bit more so I think the trick is now just to start to add a bit more detail I want to add like a yellow glaze just over the skull uh, just to help separate it from uh, the rest of the colours but I'm going to try and keep it all looking a bit red um, but obviously the skull's not going to be as red as the planet surrounding it so um, we'll just see what's what A little bit of white there. I don't want too much on actually. Just trying to blend it through. Just to try and help them teeth to stand out a little bit. Still not happy with the teeth, but. Can you do? We just just work through a drawing. Just a bit, a bit light. Try and uh, bits there, here and there. Get a bit brown here and 
try and uh, thin a bit of this off. I'm going to work on more reflection lines for this bit of glass. Right at the end, uh, when I try and uh, do the glass, I'm going to do some cracks in the glass. And it's only going to be this, probably this section, because I want a lot of the skull to show. Uh, but there's going to be like a glass section here. And then it's going to be all cracked. And hopefully just try and do a few reflection pieces. Let's get a little bit of white there. A bit of dab of water just to thin it out. Do the same down here. Oh. Hope I forget a bit of white on there. Might need a bit more, not too much. Mark that in actually. Get the reflections in there and then the bits of the broken glass. Looks a bit grey at the moment, but I'll try and get that in there. So we know that that is a piece of glass there on the helmet. Um, I'm going to uh, just wait slightly until this slightly dries and then I'm going to do a, a yellow glaze over the skull and then possibly another purple glaze over this planet bit. So I'm just uh, mixing a little yellow glaze. I've I did a little bit of a yellow like glaze over the skull. Um, so I'll do another. I think the on top of the skull is. Oh, this side needs to be the brightest. I'll just wash the brush and I need to bring some of that out. Smooth it out a bit more. I'm leaving the eyes anyway because I want there to be a lot of darkness there. I can probably like. Uh, Bring some red back into it if I've gone a bit too far, which I have done a little bit <laughs> with the yellow glaze. I do like the colouring of this. Um, certainly more horror based colour. Um, bit of science fiction. Um, you know, the planets and stuff. It's not something I always try and paint, but I'm liking it. In the sky I've just added some white um, to some more black and just darkened it just to give a sort of like sort of like um, cloud things and stuff like that but I want some more red hues and stuff in there and 
just work through that. Um, yeah. So I don't know what else to do to this. Um, <laughs> let's just keep adding bits here and there and hope for the best. And yeah, that's, that's what usually happens. Um, I need to get some more black in there and just wear that bit out of there. Yeah. So we get some More, a bit deeper red. Yeah, I like the colouring of this. It's um, looks a bit green on there, but I can bring some of that back, I suppose, with. brown I suppose in there as well because that was going to be ash anywhere coming out I just painted over it <laughs> can probably wait till that dries and then add some more white and a bit more black in there it's becoming far different than when it first started out but what I need to work on more is a lot of the structure of the skull uh, so I think from now on in I'm going to work in time lapse and try and work up you know a lot of details and structure here and you know around the cheekbones and stuff and I'm just going to let this dry first, or dry it, whichever one, and yeah, so now starts the time lapse.
you can see I've near enough finished there's a few areas which I'm not happy with but I'm definitely happy with the skull um, there's just a little bit of, um, of this glass helmet that I just need to sort of like do I need to get a bit more white I'll use it from the tube yeah I've done the um, little embers um, like this ash and stuff like that and you know like floating off um, I thought that was a pretty good effect I think not too bad I just uh, you know <laughs> but I think uh, the this bit of glass it follows too closely like the edge of the uh, skull so I think what I need to do is maybe dry brush this a bit we do a few shards of glass just extend it a bit and white is the only thing that I can think of to do glass I've tried to do some little reflections and um, a reflection of all, all the red from that side so it seems to work actually So maybe uh, a couple of bits of glass resting on its in its mouth. Just dry brush that. Just make them sort of shit little shapes. Just a few little. shards of glass there just resting in the mouth I think that adds to it also like I've tried to do little bits of you know glass around here I just need a bit of a bit more white just to make them noticeable but I'm quite happy with this it's uh, it's been fun it's been fun trying to work out the colours it's just nice to get inspired by other people's work and create something original of your own anyway so definitely more painting I just I find it quite good actually now especially when you throw some sort of like um, glazes in here and there it could use a few more glazes but um, press for time now I want to start to get on maybe try and finish some illustrations tonight maybe put a little shard there just just add to it you know so it looks like a like a helmet I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna leave the vlog there um, pretty tough with that, actually <laughs> not too bad anyway so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers now <laughs>